to yet another week of more sewing with Michelle. This week, I'm going to talk about neglect. Ah, we all do it in certain elements of our life, but I have found myself neglecting a certain notion that I absolutely love. And every time I use it, it makes it easier to, um, to complete the task. And the item that I'm talking about this week is Wonder Clips. Now, I have had Wonder Clips for years, and I neglect them because I have them stored in this handy-dandy little container, and I put them away so that they don't get lost or, or misplaced, and then I often will find myself grabbing a pin and using it, when in fact, what would make the job easier would be using my Wonder Clips. Don't neglect your Wonder Clips. Don't neglect lots of tools. I find myself doing that lots of different times where instead of, you know, reaching or and diving into what I actually need, I will use something else. So I'm going to talk this week about all the wonderful things Wonder Clips can do for your quilting and sewing. And I can't wait to show you. Let's get going on this week's episode of More Sewing with Michelle. So let's talk about Wonder Clips. They've been around a long time and I've had some. Um, I actually, one of my good friends gifted me some years ago when I first started quilting. And I remember thinking, what do I need those for? And I kind of tucked them away and put them in um, my sewing cabinet. And that way I always had them, but I didn't really utilize them. And maybe that's because I didn't understand how beneficial they really were. Now, what Wonder Clips do is they're an alternative to regular sewing pins. And um, with a sewing pin, obviously it's got a sharp point here, but there are some fabrics that you don't want to put a hole in. Um, for instance, some leathers, vinyls, maybe neoprenes, even some really delicate fabrics or knits. You may not want to put a pin in, even if you're using a super fine tip, which is what I love for sewing and quilting. Um, but sometimes you just don't, and sometimes you can't. Think about it. Super thick fabrics, um, it's really hard sometimes to get those pins in there. And that's why Wonder Clips come into play because you don't have to poke your fabric. You can use these wonderful clips. And just like that, they open up really wide for thick things and they're very small. They've got a super strong spring in there and they're made to last. So um, I know that there were times when I used to use those bulldog clips when I was trying to hold a bunch of really heavy fabrics together, but these Wonder Clips do the trick, and I absolutely love them. Um, so like I said, the spring is strong, they'll last. I've had mine for years and years and years, and they're still as strong and as springy as they were when I first got them. Now, like I said before, I am so guilty of this. Um, on my sewing cabinet, I don't have these pins because this is my pin cushion for upstairs here, but I do have my green magnetic pin case, and I have those pins next to my machine no matter when I'm sewing. And then there's times where I go and um, I will need to clip something hard to clip. So like on this, I've got a pillow, and look, I've got Wonder Clips on there to make sure that it's together so that when I turn it, Wonder Clips are perfect for curved things because you don't have to worry about it. You just clip along as you go. And also for binding. I love using them when I'm doing my binding on my quilts because you can get everything perfectly aligned, have it um, ironed flat, clip those Wonder Clips on there, and it's going to hold that together until you get that seam in. And like I said, it, it's just a different type of pin that gives you um, a precise hold, but there's no holes. So I use them, like I said, when I'm doing binding, but one of the main things when I am making bags and such, this is um, a bag that I made, and it had all this binding that was around these really hard areas 
to pin and to keep things secure. And I use Wonder Clips on this, and I used a ton of them because, like I said, there's so many curved elements um, on this particular bag that the Wonder Clips just made it easier to make. And then the other thing, um, I have a clamshell little zip bag, and getting that zipper along the curved edge, oh my gosh, Wonder Clips just came into play there too. So they're great for when you can't pin things, if you have super thick fabric, if you have fabrics you do not want to put a hole in. Um, they are just wonderful, secure, strong things that makes it easier to keep your fabrics aligned and in place to make them behave until you get that seam stitched down. So I love my Wonder Clips. Now the small one here comes with 10 clips and we've got a variety of colors. And then I also have for you today, one of my more favorite little notions that I use all the time are the mini Wonder Clips. And this package here, you get 50 Wonder Clips 10 of each color and like I said they are just as strong and durable open the same as their larger counterpoint but they have a precision tip and what that means is I know some of you already went aha you can sew closer to the wonder clip without removing it which is huge when you're doing something really delicate or something that has a, a difficult hold these mini Wonder Clips are just awesome for that. So I'm going to bring this in closer so that you can see the difference in the size there. And they're the same footprint sideways. But that tip there, this one here, it's got like a fine tip. And I love that about them. And it's why I brought them in because these mini Wonder Clips, oh my gosh, they're amazing. You are going to love them. Okay, so now that you've fallen in love with these Wonder Clips and you understand how valuable they are, what a great notion they have, I tell you, once you have some of these, you find multiple things that you can do with them around your house. Um, it's one of those things where once you get it, you go, hey, I'm going to use my Wonder Clips on that. They have um, definitely migrated outside of my craft room and they end up in little places all around the house. So I love them. I love that they're made to last. That spring on them is super strong. Now this is the one size that we have. This, they're the normal first Wonder Clips that ever came out. So it's a nice sample thing if you haven't used these before. And like I said, there's 10 on this package. And then I brought in, because I know there's so many out there, that already have Wonder Clips and love them. But I brought in the minis. And these minis, you get a nice package that holds them so they'll stay contained. And you get 50 mini Wonder Clips in five different colors. Isn't that cool? And once again, let me pull this red one out here, show you up close. Super strong. And look at how wide they open. They open super wide so you can really grab your binding or anything thick and it's going to be secure and hold it in place. Also, one of the things I also didn't show you, on each Wonder Clip, they have seam allowances. So on either one of these, there's markings so that you can step so straight, excuse me, and you have seam allowances. That way you can line them up precisely on your quilt or whatever you're sewing and you can make sure that you're sewing in the same area. Who knew? It's super cool. I love my Wonder Clips, and I know you will too. So, you can go to mores-sew.com and click on the link for more sewing with Michelle on the landing page. You can pick them up there. So, two ways to shop. Click on the link in the description of this video or check out mores-sew.com where you can find them on the More Sewing with Michelle landing page. Either way, you're going to want to pick some up today. Okay, so I want to show you actually how I use these wonderful Wonder Clips when I bind a quilt. Now, you'll notice in the back here, does this look familiar? This is from the Thora Bell 
templates and remember I showed the sample of this little table runner so I've got this one completely done it was so much fun to complete but Wonder Clips absolutely helped in the process so I had two of them this is the other one and I did some fun quilting on that using my Waka books um, and designing a grid pattern with straight line quilting and I have left the seam completely undone here. So I'm going to show you, let me turn on the other camera here. I'm going to show you how to get real close and how to use these wonder clips. Okay, so I've already done this corner and I'm going to simply line it up, take my wonder clip and clip the binding exactly where I want it to be. And I will just follow that through. Now, I could have used a pin, but sometimes when you pin, let me show you, when you're pinning something this thick, it's really hard to get in there. And how many of you have actually bent your pins when you're trying to um, put your binding on? So, just going to continue with this, making sure it's folded over correctly and everything lines up. So, almost done. So that's why I love my Wonder Clips, because they will hold everything in place. They hold a large area, nice and secure. So we see we got that. I'm going to add one more here. And this package, the small package here, is what I'm using, the original ones. And um, I'm using several of them, so you can see how they work. Now I have my machine set up, ready to go. And um, I have my quarter inch flange as well as my um, machine set on the quarter inch setting. I'm going to go ahead and lift my presser foot. And on this one, it looks like I have it in a little bit. I did most of the sewing downstairs. So let me get everything lined up. There we go. Drop my foot. And I'll be ready to go. So now I've already, like I said, I've already sewn pretty much so around everything, and I'm going to get going. I like to start with the tacking stitch. Okay, and now it's going to buzz along, and I'm going to drop the speed down just because of the fact that I'm teaching. So you get close, and then I simply slide out the wonder clip. Now, something I didn't talk about, which I'm going to show you real close here. Look, the back side of that wonder clip is flat. So what that means is on my machine bed, when I clip those down, they stay flat here, which is so beneficial when you're sewing. If you had it the other way, it wouldn't lay flat, which could lead to problems when it's leading into your machine. So let me go ahead and go again, unclip it ready to go again and this way you can make sure that your binding is set up exactly where you would like it to be and continuing on isn't that cool I love it let me stop and turn around real quick I love it I love that these wonder clips will make your binding go on smoother and it can almost be flawless. So the fact that those um, wonder clips are flat on the bottom, make sure that the, everything lines in and smoothly into your machine when you're sewing. Let me finish it up again. And I'm going to stop, pull that one out. Now this is a pretty thick quilt. So keep in mind, I've got the batting, I've got... In some places, I have my quilt label that I have here, you can see, um, and I've got all those layers, and this Wonder Clip does not get in the way. It does its job flawlessly, and just like that, I'm almost done. And when I get to the end right here, I'm going to go ahead and hit my tack. Cut my threads, and there we go. It's done. Super 
easy, super efficient Love Wonder Clips. So these little clips are going to be your best friend. They're going to make clipping fabrics together flawless, easy, and you're going to be more precise with how you're sewing. And it's just like that. I love notions that make it easier so that there's no frustration. Because as we know, there's enough other things in the world to get us frustrated. Right now, we want to enjoy what we're doing, enjoy our craft. And Wonder Clips are one of those things, those little tools and notions that makes it um, a little less stressful for you. So I love my Wonder Clips. I know you will too. And I'm going to talk real quickly. Let me get set up on a few more things that Wonder Clips can do for you. So I wanted to show you real quick sewing something round with the mini ones, how easy it is. So I've got the machine set up. I've already started. And you can see I sewed right to one of my Wonder Clips there. Also, I don't know if you noticed, we have five colors of these mini Wonder Clips as well as the other Wonder Clips. They come in a variety of colors. Now, it's not just for um, pleasing to the eyes to have a variety of colors because I love colors. I'm always drawn to bright, fun, bold things. But one of the benefits also is that you have contrast. So you can see that I used my red ones here on the fabrics that I'm sewing. And that way it helps to make them stand out and it makes it a little bit easier. So I'm just going to simply sew around. And as you can see, I can get pretty close now with these minis. And what that means is it's going to keep your fabric securely together until it gets right up to this mini wonder clip. Let me do that again. Simply sewing around. I will get right there to the very tip where you can see it start to, to touch, pull it off, and continue to sew. And that's why I love these mini wonder clips because they get you closer to the needle when you're sewing because they have that tapered tip and they're just as strong and um, wonderful as the original wonder clip. No more wondering about wonder clips. Now you understand how valuable they are. And just a few other things that you might not have think of, thought of is that if a wonder clip falls on the floor, super easy to pick up because it's got um, its larger items. So you're not going to poke yourself with wonder clips. Keep in mind that the seam allowance is on each wonder clip. They have that flat back so they will feed into your machine without causing any um, bumps or hiccups. And keep in mind, wonder clips don't discriminate. They're good on your serger. They're good on your featherweight. They work on any machine out there. Um, you're going to find so many reasons and so many different things that you can do with your wonder clips. You can use them to hold a quilt, to hang them on a wall, to display things. Clip your papers, um, clip your pictures, um, hold a book page in place. So many things that you can do with Wonder Clips. I think that um, once you get them, you're going to go, oh my gosh, this is the perfect thing. Um, you know, clip your bag clips. Um, make sure that things are nice and secure. So anyways, Wonder Clips, I love them. They're not just for quilting, but I tell you what, they sure do making um, binding on quilting go so much easier. And it's flawless. Um, you can make sure everything's lined up, that the fold on that binding is absolutely precise. Love my Wonder Clip. So if you have things that you can't pin with your regular pins, give them a toss. Pick up a package of the mini Wonder Clips, which you get 50 in this package, or we also have the package of 10 of the original Wonder Clips. These are going to make your life easier when you're trying to clip things that are hard or difficult or items that you don't want to put a hole in. And like I said, um, I've got the round. They're perfect for sewing round things. Whoops. Also pillows. Look, I finished this. Perfect for doing a pillow so you can grip that and you're not going to make holes in the fabric. Also, one of the things and one of the reasons when I absolutely fell in love was when I was making these bags. Difficult to pin areas 
are a breeze with Wonder Clips. So I love that for bags and also the go-to binding, which is when I use them the most. So I hope you've enjoyed this week of more Sewing with Michelle. I look forward to seeing you next week. And until then, have a wonderful week. Be safe out there. Bye-bye.